Uh, Lalo Schifrin is one of my favorite film composers for sure. And, uh, actually, we recorded this, some of this music, uh, this theme actually from Magnum Force on, uh, on my uh, new album, Eastwood Symphonic. Uh, Lalo's music always has like great, great bass lines, you know. So for a bass player, it's, uh, it's fun music to play, you know. Always great funky bass lines, whether it was like this one or Magnum Force you know, or Dirty Harry or, um, or Bullet especially. It's, like, it's a great one. Uh, Mission Impossible, you know, all good ones. Ah, well, one of my f absolute favorite bass players, one that I uh, spent a lot of time listening to and, uh, and transcribing his bass lines and solos, uh, one of his great solo records, the great Paul Chambers. Ah, Yo Yo Ma, well, that's um, definitely, I spent some time learning a few of those Bach etudes um, on, the, on the contrabass, but. Uh, for sure, I, I, this is actually music that I listen to um, when I'm on the airplane. <laughs> all the time I have it in my iPod, so um, I listen to this record all the time. <laughs> this one actually, I think I have a copy of it in my, in my collection. Um, yeah, it's my, my father doing some, some cowboy songs from uh, I think from the late 50s or early 60s this was recorded. Um, that's probably a collector's item, that one, so you might want to hold on to that if you have it. I don't know how much you want to listen to it, but you might want to hold on to that one. I was his protege for quite a long time. Um, I studied with Bunny, uh, he was one of my m most important teachers. And uh, I think that's I think there's a composition that I co-wrote with him on this record. Great, great bassist and a uh, great friend. Well, one of my favorite singers of all time, and uh, actually I had the honor of, of performing it and uh, recording the, the title track to this record um, with the great Joni Mitchell on my first record. Uh, Oh, many, quite a few years ago now, but um, yeah, Marvin's uh, one of my heroes. Honky Tonk Man, yes, uh, good memories of making this film. I was actually there when they, they were recording a lot of the music for, for this film. Um, I got to watch the great Marty Robbins uh, sing and, um, and record, and unfortunately he passed away just uh, right when the film was about to be released. So I think it was probably one of the last things he did. But uh, yeah, it was, a, it, was, it was a lot of fun to make this movie. At this record I remember from around the house, my parents had that laying around. So I grew up uh, hearing this record and uh, the very first concert I really remember going to was, was with Count Basie uh, when he was still alive in like 1977, maybe 78 at the, at the Monterey Jazz Festival. So. I have um, very good memories and, uh, of, of, of this band. Ah, well a classic. Um, I mean, Herbie's one of my idols and uh, such amazing compositions on this record. I'm such a great band, you know, it's uh, full of jazz standards now. So, um, Maiden Voyage, yeah, classic. <laughs> uh, I don't know this one, what is this? <laughs> Now this is um, uh, my newest album, which uh, I'm very, very proud of. It's uh, an homage to my father and, uh, and his films and, and the music from his films and uh, to also to the great, great composers who have worked on his uh, and musicians who worked on his films over the years. Mm -hmm.